Hi, it's Dave Williams from digitechcoach.com.au and I'm here to show you how to create a live loop in GarageBand on your iPad and hopefully you'll be able to use that in some of your podcasts. So I'm just going to press the plus button up in the top left hand corner and create a new song and you'll have the choices up the top when you open GarageBand to either have a track or a live loop and I'm going to choose a live loop and then you have all these genres of uh, music to choose from electro funk rock chill house uh, r&b even some dubstep uh, hip-hop uh, edm or electronic dance music beat mashes all these different types of uh, genres of music to choose from and every single um, genre has a different arrangement of instruments and a completely different sound. So in this electro funk one which is loading now you'll see there are drums, a synth, uh, a bass, uh, keyboards, um, a DJ scratching um, turntable down the bottom here um, and they're all the, the key instruments that make up that genre um, and what I'm going to do now is try and create a pattern uh, of these sounds and you'll see all the blue and green tiles are uh, short one bar um, snaps of uh, a sound so for example um, I'm just going to press this one here and see what that sounds like I'll just turn the keyboard down so we can hear that okay I think I might like uh, this one maybe a little bit better all right, so let's just go with that one. And we have, uh, every time you see the little wheel spinning around, um, you'll notice as it introduces one of those sharp lines, that's when a, a cymbal or a snare drum or a bass drum is kicking in to say that that's um, where the, the height of that note is being sound. So let's add um, some bass now. And you'll notice that they just continually loop. Um, and at the moment, I'm not recording anything. I'm just practicing what sound might be like for um, this particular song. Um, now I might look at adding some keyboards. Okay, so that's sounding, starting to sound pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look at now adding... So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's sounding like an, an okay loop or a pattern that I want to continue with. Uh, so if that's something that you, you like, um, you can stick with it. Or you can come down here where the plus is and you can add um, more sound effects. Um, you can add um, loops as well. Um, or you can come down here and add instruments um, that you might want to add to that loop. So, um, I think that's a cool way to get started and it's a really easy way to create a loop or a backing track or an introduction, introduction to a podcast or uh, something along those lines. So yeah, definitely um, check that out and if you do want to record, all you do is press the um, record button up in the top corner there and it will count in and then start recording that uh, loop. Once you've got that recorded, I'll give it to eight. Okay, cool. So now that I've recorded that sample, I can now go back into um, my song. And this is 
um, it organizes all those instruments that I um, chose in that live loop. So I've got the drum kit, I've got the synth, I've got the bass, and I've got the two keyboards uh, options there. So uh, it also shows you how it's arranged um, within that loop, and you can move those around however you like. So now if I press play, um, you'll hear that and also get to see what the pattern looks like as well. So you can now get a microphone, record over the top of that, um, you can add other instruments or introduce total new sounds to that, but at least now you have the building blocks for a, um, a track. I hope you enjoyed this um, video and stay tuned to more videos coming up soon.